How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today and I hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. We're about to do one of the most highly requested videos that I have seen in the past few months. Basically ever since they announced the third battle pass which you know we just completed. We just got the final tier and unlocked the Aurora Brin skin. I dedicated an entire video to Aurora Brin yesterday, so if you didn't see that video, you want to see lots of Aurora Brin, then check out yesterday's video. But today, we are going to combine the three level 85 Battle Pass skins from the first, the second, and the third Battle Pass seasons. Those skins are, of course, Aurora Brin. We'll save her for last though, maybe, since she was the third one. The first one was Akuma Nokoga Hattori. Such an amazing looking skin from Battle Pass Season 1. Completed that entire Battle Pass and unlocked this skin. Super happy I did because look at it. It's literally one of the sickest looking skins in the game. And then the second Battle Pass. The Synth Wave Battle Pass. Completed that entire thing and that unlocked us Retro Reaper Nyx. Which has an amazing skin. Look at that visor, but even better is the weapons. The scythe and the blasters look amazing as well. Same as Akuma Nikogo Hattori, really. And then we have Aurora Brin. This is the newest and probably the best looking, in my opinion. It just looks so amazing. And now, for the first time ever, all three on the same team in Strikeout. By the way, guys, some of you uh, have mentioned in the comments in the past that I shouldn't play strike out because I'm only gonna get matched against like noobs and low low level players and That's actually not entirely true. I actually got confirmation from a blue mammoth games developer AKA the people that make Brahalla. I asked one of them You know is there an invisible ranking system in the Casual playlists or is it completely random? And you know what he said? There is a soft elo system that's hidden to match you against people of similar rank. It's not as strict as regular ranked, but it is a little bit there. So you're still gonna match people mostly around your level, even in experimental or strikeout. It just depends how many people are actually in the queue or not. And it isn't quite as strict, he said. Man, this Reno, I gotta be careful. What? Let's go, we're not gonna lose our first game with the three level threes. What? There's a lot of weird things going on right there, but hey, we got the stock. That's all that matters. Ooh, look at those SIGs. All three level three skins have unique looking signature graphics, which make them even better. Look at the reach on that. Oh, I love those SIGs. <laughs> you play with the fire, you're gonna get burned. I didn't expect a three stock, but it's looking like it might happen. Nope, never mind. No three stock. All right, now we get to play Retro Reaper Nyx. Out of the three legends, this is probably the one that's most fun to me to play just because she has Scythe, and I really enjoy Scythe. Um, but that being said, Bryn is my highest level out of these three because I used to main Bryn for a while. But like I said, Nyx, 
the scythe, even though I'm not using it. Ow. The blasters are fun too. I've been I've been pray I've been playing a lot of the blasters lately because of Reno. GG dude, GG, well played. I hope I get to use the scythe a little bit next time because like I said, I just love the scythe. Brenna's Brenna's good. Brenna's good. She's not bad. She's not like incredibly OP either. Spear and axe are both very solid weapons, but at the same time, they're not quite as good as like scythe or gauntlets in my opinion just because those weapons have more control uh, maybe even katars is pretty good i know some people think that katars are not that great but i think katars are great it really depends on the matchup like if i'm brin i really don't want to go against an azuri for some reason azuri is really good against brin all right here we go going against a volkov with our brin Watch the space horse, guys. Watch. Oh, man. He almost took me out there. I'm not about to get out axed here. Space horse, please. No, I'm not going to hit that. Oh, I just want to hit that space horse so bad. Never mind, we're not gonna hit the space horse on Volkov, maybe on Ada. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, that side sig. Alright, well. One stock for one stock. Now we have Nyx, alright. Let's go, let's go, Ada. I love Nyx. Whoop! Side zig. <laughs> hits, the, hits the ground and it hits above. Nyx side zig, when I first saw it, I thought it was the most broken move in the game. And honestly, they haven't really changed it a whole lot, so I feel like it still is. One of the most broken. Ooh, that one hurt. Nyx, what are you trying to do? I don't want to fight you off edge. Ooh, nice ground pound. All right, all right. Well, we still got a whole stock lead, so now we get to try out the Akuma no Ko Hotori. All right, almost got the win right there. Let's hit a nice neutral sig for that win. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Close. It's really satisfying if you can hit with that tip. On that neutral sig. Okay, whatever. GG, GG. GG. Undefeated with the Dream Team so far. Three level 85 skins. I mean, can we lose? I mean, skins don't actually have any effect on the player, but let's be real. Skins equals wins, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> skins equals wins. Comment down below if you think skins equals wins. Anyways, I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Like I said, um, definitely follow me on Twitter. I know not a lot of you know that I have a Twitter, but I do. It's like pretty much the only social media that I use is Twitter, so... 
if you want to have a little bit of an inside look. Hey, is this the same guy? No, I fought this guy earlier this morning. Inside look to the life of Lucian's sword. Then Twitter is the best place for that. For that neutral sig left him wide open for my side heavy. Gosh, I love this music. This music has never gotten old since the game, since this map came out, which was not when the game came out, but. I think he's starting to feel a little frustrated that he can't ever hit me when I'm using a scythe. I know I would be. When I was learning the game, scythe players were so hard to fight against, but when you learn scythe yourself, it will help you fight against the scythe. Honestly, the bow is really good against scythe because of how it hits diagonally. Because the scythe hits diagonally too on most of its attacks, especially from the air but not, they don't reach as far as the bow does. So like, if you're doing bow nares and bow down airs and stuff, you're gonna, or even bow neutralites, you can outrange a lot of the scythe attacks. Especially if the scythe player does the same attacks, like they only wanna do down airs like that. I try to mix my attacks up a bit so that I'm not always just doing down airs. See, I, I just patiently wait for him to swing and then I can counter pretty easily. Okay, don't know how my neutral light is popping. There it goes. It's almost like he's listening to me. He's starting to use that bow a little bit more. Honestly, it's his best chance to not get three stocked as that bow. Oh, okay, well, it's gonna be a three stock. GG, GG. Man, those colors on Retro Reaper Nyx. So beautiful. I don't know, I mean, I know it's just gray and green pretty much, but it just looks clean. Uh, GG dude, GG. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, please drop a like, it really helps me out. I know that most of you guys do drop likes and I really appreciate that. Oh, by the way, uh, the new season it, uh, for Ranked just started like uh, three days ago, so... I'm definitely going to be having to jump into some ranked 1v1 pretty soon. Which legend do you think I should use in ranked 1v1? I mean, I've pretty much done it all. I've played every legend and gotten many different legends to diamond before, but I would like to do something different this season, so let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Because ultimately I like doing what you guys want to see. I'm here to please. That would have been such an epic hit. Why don't you side sig me, Nyx? I'm like wide open. Boom! I knew I would hit that. Honestly, the best place, or probably the easiest place to hit this neutral sig is right here on the edge of this wall because it's such a big vertical surface. When people are like trying to get back on stage, it's much easier to hit there than it is like on the stage right here because they have so much space horizontally to dodge it. But when they're getting back on stage, you pretty much know they're gonna be up on this wall. So you can just kind of cover that entire option there. Spear is not the best against Scythe. Neither is Sword.
Well, he was doing pretty good, and then we turned it right back around. Scythe neutral sig as soon as I saw him do that, Mike. Okay, he's dead. Woo! Double! Triple! No. <laughs> if I would have got the triple up and sig, that would <laughs> that would have been crazy. Oh, did you want that scythe? Well, then you should not have dropped it. Oh, I will hit that space horse, Mirage. Never mind. It was just for show. I was just showing him the space horse. I wasn't trying to hit him with it. GG, dude, GG. Ah, one more game and I would have leveled up there. I wish that you could level up beyond tier 85. Like, you can in Rocket League. Like, you can get to tier 70, it's the, it's the highest tier in the Rocket Pass. But then you can keep going as high as you want, and you'll just earn random, like, stuff. I wish you could go beyond tier 85 in Brawlhalla, and, like, every 10 tiers or whatever, you earn, like, some, I don't know, like, 10 free Mammoth Coins, or just, like, gold, or anything, really. I would like that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this triple level 85... I don't even know what you call these. Epic Battle Pass skins? Triple epic battle pass skin strike out. I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did. And I hope to see you in the next video. Just hit subscribe, click the bell, all notifications, and you will know anytime I release a video or I go live stream. And if I go live stream, which should be maybe tomorrow or the next day, I usually try to live stream like a couple times a month. So definitely want to be subscribed with all notifications on because then you'll know when I go live and have a chance to play with me. Anyways, thank you guys. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.